named after the original cup-winning Senators, this team looks to bring back winning traditions to the Canadian capital of Ottawa. Hi everyone, he's Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro will be coming along in just a moment, and I'm Mike Emmerich, and here we are again. It's back-to-back -back games, and so there hasn't been much time to rest. As a coach, how do you manage everything? Well, it's very important that you use all four lines. You use your complement of six defensemen. I think it's also up to the players as well, Doc, to have short shifts. You can't get caught out there for a minute and a half or two minutes. you got to make sure you have discipline in your game, but that'll be a real key in the outcome of this game. The Bruins are a veteran club, and they have been in these situations before many a times. There are no excuses. Everybody's got back-to-backs on their schedule. These second games and back-to-backs are difficult, but you got to gut it out and find a way to win this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Coaching staff remains confident in this guy. He won the last game. Rasks, the other union representative from the goalies for the Bruins. He's checked in with a modest number for winning percentage. Strong-willed, he should be able to improve on that. We'll see if it happens tonight. And the opening face-off is here. It is Ottawa, and we have started. He's carrying the puck with intent. The next goal will be a nice milestone for him. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. In the slot. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Down near the players is Ray Ferraro. Well, you got to love these interconference games. The Eastern Conference is always tightly bunched together. There are some great traditional rivals, new ones that seem to form every year. Thanks very much, Ray. Ottawa's up the wing, settling things. Gathered up again by Charles. Shot! Great point blank save. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Right on his tape, what a long outlet pass. Save! Terrific reaction to a scary shot. That didn't go like he wanted. Snapping a pass to Chara. Cut off that pass at center ice. Botker's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Osternox carrying it through center. Takes that pass off the boards. Has that one measured in his own end. Canes that offensive line. Let's it go. Use that big goalie stick well. Austin's looking to head man up the wing. He's up close and personal. Oh, you gotta love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Really good job by the defenseman there. Pass attempt to DeBrus. Chip to Johansson. Incredible skill on the attack. Takes that pass. Did not go very well that time. Loose puck. Propel to Coyle. Shot! He scores! On the key, once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one, go get two. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start, they were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. The Senators control from the neutral zone. Marcus Johansson chipped right back into the opposite corner. Pitching it to Moore. Loose puck knocked away by Marion Gabbard. Flings it. He got iron with that one. 
Well, a bounce sure would have gone a long way for them as they try and climb their way back into this game, but the post denies them. Cut down on that rush. Moving it to Anisimov. But loose, couldn't get through. Rister from the slot. Passing one off now to Coyle. Skates it into the zone. And the pickup. The Senators with possession in the neutral zone. Shoots one. Got the save there. He hangs on and gets the whistle. The Senators are starting to be concerned with him here. Not only hasn't he had a point in a number of games, but he's not even creating any chances. That becomes the real red flag. The Bruins with a clean win on the draw. Trying to go to Wagner. Leads that charge into the zone. Takes it from the boards and looks on. Rowled it again. Locks on that to Carlo. A long scorcher! Need to get rid of it. It's dumped in. Directing that one to McAvoy. Nice work by MacArthur. Nicely received at the point. Intercepted that one at an important place. Gives it over to the point. On to Carlo. Skill play by Johansson. The Senators are skating it up at neutral ice. Pitching this one to Carlo. Gains the zone. Snaps one. At least he protected his goaltender. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Over three minutes remaining here in the first. The Bruins lead 1-0. Good face-off win. Shoots one. Save. Tierney's contributions often come without the puck. He has among the highest hit totals in the league. A punishing player to play against. Puck dropped and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Puck is thrown to Bodker. A backhand shot. Did what he's made to do. And now it's directed to Hyman. Great work with the stick. That move not too slick there. Looking to Hyman. He gains the zone. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Wonderful stop. Laid on to Nordstrom. With a shot. Save. To the last 37. 26 to go. Slides it to Krug. And he gets it back. Out to the point. They keep the puck in deep. Gets a glove on it. He holds that one, and it's a good thing because they were buzzing. What a shift here, Doc. They had the momentum, but the goalie gets the whistle, and they'll need to reset. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. The Bruins are the only team to score, and they did it once. It's time for our hamburger bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two minutes, Johansson's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? Ottawa's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. And down to Marchand. Rang it off the post. 
Sweeps across that line. Got it at the point. Fires. Flashed out that glove. Snapping a pass to Posternock. Back in his defensive end to get it. Perfect receipt of the pass. Score! And that is a milestone. His 100th career goal. This player's proven again that he can score at this level. That's 100 goals in his career. What you call a great finish from the low slot. Tremendous pass to set up the one-timer and an even better finish. Wow, they burped up that turnover in the defensive zone. The goalie can't get out to make the stop. The Bruins have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. Strong play on that face-off. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Pass attempt to Ryan. And he steps across the line. And it's all. No! How did he shoot the puck that quick? Pitching it to Krejci. Gains the zone. Swatted down. Slid to CeCe. Ryan's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Boston's got two on this one for Trippy. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Senators are activating their power play unit for the first time. It's a great opportunity for them on their Boston first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, and crowd the net for rebound. Four minutes, 42 seconds. Here's a one-timer. Save there. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. A really satisfied smile for him when he got his 100th goal. The last little bit hasn't been as quick for him as he would like to have gotten to it, but now he's at 100, and now he looks to the next level. Won that face off. Now what? Caroms it on to Bodker. He's got that pass at the point. Cursed by a broken stick. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Boston's minor penalty is for delay of game. If you shoot or flip the puck out of play and it doesn't touch the attacking team or the glass, you will receive a minor penalty for delay of game. The Senators get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's a long one. Let's see how they do. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five-on-three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. Moving it to Heinen. Couldn't do what he wanted. Makes that play deep. Chip to Ryan. Here it comes. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Gets it out. Ottawa's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Passing one off now to Heinen. Cleared it out of there. Puck flipped up out of play into the bench area. Off that face-off from the tie-up, the help came. And freezes play for the whistle. Just over six minutes have elapsed here in the second. Boston's got the lead in this game, two to nothing. From the face-off, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. A shot, and a save. Trying to go to more. Crosses that line. Goes to the backhand. That puck was obstructed by a screen. He got rid of it. 
just walking the tightrope. Reads the play and keeps it. And he dumps it in. Directing that one to Bodker. Fires a shot. Save. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Raz Lucky just got a piece of that, but it was enough to make the stop. Ottawa's got that win. Shoots it on. Great save. Ottawa's power play failed them this time, and they had plenty of time. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Senators prevailing on the faceoff. Swept on to Shabbat. Puck free, ricocheted off a defender. He shot him right down. Right along the line. That puck is loose on good defensive play. Ottawa's setting up an offense from the wing. It's dumped in. Got it in the slot. Wonderful stop. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Waits from the corner. Terrific determination by Krejci. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Advanced by this game. Collected in the corner. Picked up by the defense. They're getting all organized now. Back to the blue line. Tremendous pressure. Puck collected. Pitching this one to Ryan. And he gains the zone. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Breakaway. Solid work there. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. Johansson's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. Anderson's only just to get a little piece of this. It's not nearly enough as the puck's behind him. Boston's got a 3-0 lead. They've had the puck almost the entire time. What's going on here? They've got the draw. He's fifth of the season. Puck free, roadblock by Krejci. Solid neutralized poke check. 12 minutes, 5 seconds. Dogged determination there by Krejci. Outstanding save. Just on reputation, you can smell a goal there. A little under seven minutes remaining in the second. They've scored again, depending on which book you read. Three may be the most dangerous hockey lead. We'll find out. Wonderful stop. He's locked in now. Great save. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Senators with a face-off win. Ottawa's along the wing at center ice. And he dumps it in. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. Puck is thrown to Nordstrom. Knifes his way near the boards at center ice. Knocked off the puck. Now it's directed to MacArthur. Has it picked up. It's dumped in. Moore's got it on his stick, trying to clear. Looking to Coyle. Can start the attack going in the zone. Smart recovery by Coyle. Using the point. Gathered up by Coyle. 
Chappelle to Wagner. Shoots. What a terrific save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Boston's given a minor here for tripping. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. I sure agree, Eddie. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. The Bruins shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Snapping a pass to Shabbat. Gathered up again by Chara. Can he clear the zone? They'll have to go back and recoil thanks to this clear by Char. Players tired, about to get a rest, but still seconds to play in this period. Last minute of play. In the Good <laughs> intercept in his own end. Got it back out of the zone. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. And he steps across the line. Good place to shoot from. Loud pad save. Austin's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. On to Shabbat. Ottawa's in control of the puck up the wing. They clear the zone and take the opportunity to change. Not a free puck now. Laid on to Ryan. Tries to get it on net. A brilliant save at the horn. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Let's check out the shots on goal through these two periods. 14 for Ottawa. A lucky 13 for the Bruins. Anderson's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Boston's up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? Ottawa's power play unit will have to be quick. Not many seconds remaining on this advantage. Penalty call. They've shot down their own power play. Ottawa's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes. And the call is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. So now, with the penalty box uh, a little occupied, this is going to be four on four. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances, four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two on one going back the other way. Pass cut. He's lost it, and then got it. Great job on a cut pass. And he dumps it in. Boston skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Ottawa's controlling play through center ice. Pass attempt to Posternock. Play is offside, and so we get a halt. The Bruins got that face-off win, now what? Flings it. Wonderful save. Oh, that, that 
was in the net. What happened? There's the old adage, get it to the net. You never know what can happen. This goes off the goaltender and in. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. It's going to be a long rest of the night for him as he'll slowly make his way to the bench and exchange his mask for a baseball hat. His night is done, and it hasn't been a very good one. Boston's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. The Senators control at center ice. Wants the shoulder of the corner here. Not a hard hit, but effective. The Bruins skated up on the side. Slid to Krejci. Got in front of another one. Great opportunity, better stop. They won that draw. Just couldn't make it. Close in play. He scores! David Krejci. What a quick release on that snapshot. No way he's going to miss from the low slot. Condon's positioning here is a little bit off. He's dropped into the butterfly. He's left some room on the angle, and he's beaten by it. Boston's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Bruins with a win at center. Pitching it to Krejci. And that one went offside. Time of the goal. Over three minutes have gone by in the third. Do you think the ice is tilted? Wow, this scoreboard may not hold all those numbers. Moving it to Ryan. Into the attacking end. Ryan's hooked on this play and the arm of the referee is high. The Bruins guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Ottawa's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Loose puck, it went off one of the guys there. To the point it comes. Shoots a wrister. He freezes it in the pads for a halt to play. Rath's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. The Senators control the play in the defensive zone. Great poke check. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. The Senators win it. Big time save, big time shooter. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. Long pass out of the zone on the wing. He's got it. That one is pointed to him. Good attempt, but a weak stick. A busted stick on a play like that. Oh, it remains in the zone. 
puck loose because of that hit. Gives it to the point. To the half wall. And he gets it back. Sends it back the other way. Point to point. Deals it to Budker. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. Tries to clear. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Ottawa's got it in their own end, hoping for center. The Senators have had plenty of power plays. This next one is over, and like the previous ones, empty. Let's it go. Gave him a good shot, but a great bad answer there. In with it now. Around through the corner. Quick shot. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Boston's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Chip to Shabbat. Couldn't get his way through. Picks it up in his own end. The Bruins with possession up the wing. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Got the save there. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. They took that draw and won it. Good pad save. Got that pass in his own end. They can't be that sloppy with the puck, guys. Every time they get it, they have to make as sure a play as they possibly can. Is able to move on in. Terrific poke check. Ottawa's got it back in their own zone. Scooped up by Marion Gabbert. That puck's loose, deflected away by Zdeno Chara. Gathered up again by Anisimov. Right up the middle through the neutral zone. Right to the point. Collected by Johansson. He wears that glove for a reason, show off. The Senators and their fans are going to miss home because the team is going to be away for a long time. Occasionally, fans will make trips as well, and I think when they come back home, they're probably tired, and they think, how do the players do this? Well, they're going to do it, and they're going to do it for a long time. He's pinned and held at the boards. Puck loose, denied by the defense. Defensive gem with the stick. Skilled play by Krejci. Passing one off now to DeBrus. And he's hammered. You can hear both teams yell about that hit. One team trying to warn him, another team just celebrating the hit. Nudged along by the skate. Up to the point. Ottawa's in their own end and in possession. The Bruins goaltender has been terrific tonight. Locked in from the very beginning. Now they try to protect the shutout down the stretch. Trying to go to Nordstrom. Cuts off that pass on the attack. Points it. Puck free. And move down to MacArthur. Had it away. To Hyman. Driving in from no man's land. Picked up in the attacking zone. Knocked off the puck. Directing that one to declare. <laughs> Terrific determination by Coy. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. That puck out of play over the glass. 
routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Let's it go. The glove like lightning. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Rest, it's been a difference here in the third period, Doc. His team still has the lead. Critical face-off win at that point. He takes that point pass. Right near the goal stripe to Bodker. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. Bergeron's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. A long scorcher. Pitching this one to Pasternak. Propelled to Marshan. Slides it to the point. Got that pass in his own end. The game is over. The Bruins have emerged with a victory. Something rare for them lately, but maybe they can build on this. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.